question from, uh, I believe that's Ilkoland, who asked, uh, long-term plans for Warlocks. Numbers aren't terrible, uh, but none of the specs feel fun to play. And that's an interesting one. Like, a lot of times we see yeah. feedback where it's like, well, my, my class isn't good, and we look at the numbers and we say, well, no, you're, you're fine. And the, the issue is that they're just not necessarily enjoying yeah. the way it plays. So what's, what's our long-term plan for Warlocks here? Yeah, um, so I was just sorry to hear that. Mm. Um, I think, yeah, overall, Warlocks, having listened to a lot of you know feedback, and a lot of this was continuing through beta um, and, and continues today, there's a couple of issues, I think, that, that hinder each spec that we are on our radar and that we are thinking through ideas for how to solve. Um, Affliction, you know, they, they've gotten a lot of, they've gotten a number of numerical and some mechanical improvements in 715. Um, we definitely hear a lot of feedback on the soul effigy talents in particular. A lot of that is a sim similar feedback to what we used to hear about prismatic crystal from mages in, in warlords a lot of the time, just about the, the awkwardness of having to interact with it. Um, I mean, the, the idea behind that talent is you, as a dot class, you excel at multi-dotting. And so, well, if you're fighting patchwork, or if you're fighting a single target, we can make it, you can make it so that you always are effectively multi-dotting and getting the efficiency of, of doing that. Um, We've, I think, made some improvements to 715 so that you can only target your own soul effigy, and that mm. makes it easier to more consistently tab to and things like that. So hopefully it can feel in practice more like just a standard council fight where you're just trying to keep your dots up on two targets and, and doing so effectively. Um, but and obviously other options in that row should also be strengthened such that they feel like we reasonable alternatives if you don't like that gameplay. Um, a couple of the more challenging problems to solve are on the other specs. I know that Demonology, demonic empowerment is definitely a source of, of frustration. The feeling that you know you spend there's so much ramp time. You're spending so much time as a demonology lock, getting your resources, using those resources to get your army of pets out, and then you just have to you know manage demonic empowerment. And it feels like you're constantly trying to keep multiple balls in the air juggling, and a lot of the fun can get lost in that mess. Mm. Um, again, we have th th this and the Destro lock problem. I'm about to talk about in a second are large problems. Um, they're not, you know, quick, like, oh, let's just change some numbers or let's change the way this little thing works with a small tweak. We need to definitely think through how the rotation flows. And that's the type of problem that requires both, I mean, obviously internal brainstorming, but requires iteration. It requires us to go through multiple cycles on a PTR build, try out different approaches, see how they play, get feedback, respond to them, and so forth. And the reality of, of our PTR cycles, um, as I, and this, is, this will apply to some other things, other classes' concerns that might come up later. You know, as we talked about at BlizzCon, um, part of the point of these 715, 725 type patches is we actually want to really make sure that we're getting them out, you know, like around 10 weeks after our last big patch. And whatever we can fit into that patch is what we'll fit in, and what we can't fit in, we'll, we'll table until the next cycle. And that means, you know, for the class team, there has there's some choice and there has to be some choice of what gets focused on first and what is tackled later on and so i think you know shadow priests and a couple of other classes got a lot of that attention this time around um the warlock and, and the, the warlock issues um as fundamental as they may be to the specs i think are something we want to fix during the expansion it's not going to be something you have to wait until 804 but they weren't something that we felt we could fit into this development cycle, especially with a lot of the holidays coming up and various other distractions going on. It makes for a, a tricky time. I know that's not a satisfying answer, right? If you're a warlock, I, I get that you wish, you know, you want improvements and you want right. them now. And I don't blame you for wanting them now. We all should and we all <coughs> would. But we, the reality is with 36 specs, not everyone can be first on our list of priorities all the time. Uh, the last issue, uh, Destrolox, I think I, I talked about this briefly on the forums, I think last week. Um, there, we wanted in, in Legion to consolidate Warlocks to use a single more consistent resource type. And rather than having three entirely different resource models for a single class, which was kind of unwieldy and mm. caused a lot of under the hood problems. Uh, but there was definitely something lost in the granularity of embers yeah. and the ability to generate partial embers with things like immolate ticks with incinerate versus relying on a chance to proc a full one. Uh, the answer there, and it's going to require some UI support and some redesign, but it's something we want to try to do in a later patch, is pretty much to 
let Destro Soul Shards behave like Embers used to. To have mm. the idea of partial soul, partial soul, char- soul Shard recharges, so you're actually filling them up and then spending them as holes the way you used to deal with Embers. Pretty much reskin Embers and just call them Soul Shards. But I think the rotation flowed better that way. Mm. And... Oh, definitely, you know. So, so I think there's a version. There's certainly a version of Destro that can work with unit with with singular chunky soul shards that don't have you know that granularity. But it's a very different. We you basically yeah. have to rebuild a very different spec than the one that a lot of warlock players knew and loved throughout Mists and Warlords. And when there's a, a thing a proven solution that works, yeah. we're better off going back to that. Okay, cool. That sounds good. Yeah, I know. Uh, um... That was that was a big deal for me personally. Like I played yeah. Destruction Warlock throughout Mists and through a, a fair portion of Warlords as well, and so I was like, mm, this isn't really the same spec anymore. So that's yeah. good to hear. And I think I think we try with a lot of our with especially pure DPS classes, mm. we want to vary both you know the flavor of your abilities, but we also want to offer different mechanical feels in terms of rotation. Like, do you like proc driven gameplay, or do you prefer? You know, resource management and keeping up times on buffs or debuffs, or do you want you know proc driven reactive stuff? Do you want static predictable, so that there's always there's something for as many playstyles as possible within a given class? Okay, cool. A few moments later, like Blizzard clearly hates warlocks or hates so and so or loves this class. We did, we want everybody to be happy, hmm. right? At the end of the day, but we've. If you know, we just hated warlocks, of, we'd just delete warlocks. Pretty much. <laughs> um, 